lived a princess, Star Butterfly. Some people have called me reckless and irresponsible just because ah. I fight monsters and tame wild unicorns. Yeah. I like to have fun. And I'm about to have a whole lot more because today is my 14th birthday. And according to tradition, my mom, the queen, has to bestow upon me our greatest family heirloom. like someone's in trouble. So, I guess everyone who voted me safest kid must be feeling pretty embarrassed right about now. Do I need a hall pass? <laughs> Excellent work, Buff Frog! I knew they couldn't hide that royal brat from me for long. Soon, the wand will be mine, and then the universe Actually, the universe should do it. I'm coming for you, Princess Butterfly. Star, if your mother was here and knew you were using your wand inappropriately, she would send you straight to St. Olga's. But I'm not your mother! I rather enjoy destructive magical puppies. Now, Star, this wand is a big responsibility. Yeah. If it falls into the hands of evil forces, the universe could be destroyed. Wow, Star, that is so rad, girl. Can I check out that arm? High five. Relax, son. This is like the perfect getaway without actually getting away. <laughs> of course you can stay here. You are familiar. You can watch the kids while me and the wifey actually get away. Hasta mañana. Oh, Marco, come meet the new foreign exchange student who's going to be living with us. Won't it be nice to have stars upbeat, lively energy around the house? Yay! I will make a great pixie king and be very tyrannical. Hmm? Why can't I go home? Dude, it's Taco Wednesday. It's a day we eat all the leftovers from Taco Tuesday. Man, I bet I could get a lot of action if I had a real prehensile tail. Oh, yeah. Hey, ladies, you care for a drink? Whoa! I want you to meet our new foreign exchange student, Star Butterfly. Huh? I need a responsible, never-take-chances type to keep an eye on her. And who better than you, the safe kid? As you can see, class, most of you have done a pathetic job. You're whining about a lousy grade? I finally got a guy with a boat, and he left me at the dock. The dock? The dock isn't the important part! <laughs> I guess I'm doomed to dry land. Oh, hello, bee fly <laughs> Girl, we're going out tonight. Are you ready to make some bad choices? Let me just wake up, Marco. Oh, that is not a dead person? It's reform school, Cupcake, not jail. Although, admittedly, it is a lot like jail. Oh, kids, you have them, and then you wish they weren't around. Mom, don't tell me what to do. I don't have to listen to you. I don't have to follow your rules. I'm gonna live in my car at the school. Hey, hey! I don't you clean your room, Mom. I don't like your boyfriend, Mom. I know on planet Mooney or wherever it is you're from, it may be okay to be stupid, but no pesky magical foreigner is gonna question my leadership. You are officially banned from the Spirit Committee! Oh, hello. I am Gustav. I was the DISS exchange student last year. I brought gifts from Scandinavia. For Mrs. D, a pair of clogs. For Marco, the handheld game, Lederhosen Tycoon. And for Mr. Diaz, a genuine Viking helmet. And for you, nothing. I did not know you existed. <laughs> hey, you guys want to see a dead possum? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Seriously, check this out. Ta-da! <gasps> awesome! Ooh. What is it? We can do all kinds of witchy stuff with this thing. Can we use it to get my parents to stop fighting? Totally. Give me that. Can I, can I, can I? 
I've been looking all over for this. Well, now that you've found your little book, let's make some magic with it. I don't need your help, Jenna. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever. You'll need me soon enough, Marco, because I got your house keys. Don't listen to her. She's just jealous. What? You can talk? You don't need her anymore. I can give you everything you ever dreamed of. Really? First, we're gonna destroy that little punk, Jeremy. Yeah. Then we're gonna get Jackie Lynn Thomas to like you. Yeah! And then we're gonna slaughter all humans and feast on their bowels! Yeah! Wait, what? I mean, uh, we win the tournament! Yeah! Hey, wait! He's got a monster on him! That's not fair! Not my bowels! I love my bowels! Allow me to introduce our first competitor, Jeremy Burnbaum! And his opponent. Marco Diaz! <gasps> now that's an appendage! You boys have brought shame and dishonor to this great and noble sport. Tis a sad day for strip mall dojos everywhere. I'm sorry, sir. We only accept gold and jewels. You'll have to work off the bill in the shard mines. Next! Welcome to the shard mines. Now get to picking! <laughs> nice try, Blondie. These mines block magic. Yeah, yeah. And I'm the Duchess of Daisyland. Now, the pleasure's all mine, King Fergon. Take him away! He looks delicious. What? Are you a king? Um, uh, this is a plunger. Tell me, are you betrothed? Yes. What is betrothed? <laughs> oh, such wit. Well, 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 our... Are you, um, are you, like, into me? Oh, big time. Well, uh, the thing is... <laughs> Master Luna fired me! I can never show my face on Muni again! I don't have to be bad. In fact, I've always secretly wanted to be good. Oh, you're going to St. O's. You see? We're both big girls. We got the same highs and lows, the same east and west. You can hardly tell us apart, except for in the face. Camera phone. So I'm gonna laser finger your face off of your head. Oh, you can have my face. See, I'm gonna wear your face, and then you can go to jail, cause you look like me. It's just a classic face switch scenario. <laughs> They're a steal. Gimme! You're a weird girl. Oh, weird punky girl. You want some more steel cookies? Hey, Star. I'm here to take you to the Blood Moon Ball. Oh, come on, Starship. It's the Blood Moon Ball. It only happens once every 667 years. Wait, 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 Star. Hang on. I'm a changed man, okay? I got a life coach, Brian. Hey. He's awesome. A happy bunny. And, and, I have been anger free for 53 days. Walk it out and talk it out. Walk it out and talk it out. Walk it out. You can be positive that your anger is negative. I'm Father Time. And this is Roxworth. He's a rock, but don't bring it up. He's kind of sensitive about it. <laughs> and how long were you on the wheel? Oh, you know, forever. Until someone cast a free spell and knocked me off of it. What is that? Hey, guys! Well, here I am! Yeah! Now the party can start! <laughs> Ooh, tight squeeze! My bad! Ooh. Well, you want to know something? I may be filled with hydrogen, but you filled with annoyance. You just got burned by the sun! <laughs> when your heart is filled with sunshine and you're feeling so free, all of life is just divine and the world is full of glee. We're not leaving until you get this right. Did someone say Glossaric? What? Cause that's me, Sir Glossaric. Of terms, at your service, milady. Uh, I'm not a milady.
Could have fooled me. Goodbye. No! This book is not for the likes of you, magical princesses only. Every one of you is here for a reason. Too wild. Too opinionated. Too bubbly. As part of a noble lineage, you don't have the luxury of being an individual. So by the time I'm done with you, you'll all be fixed. Gentlemen, allow me to direct your attention to our new surveillance device. Princess Butterfly is reenacting our favorite holiday. The Great Monster Massacre. That is my least favorite holiday. Don't worry. We can take advantage of this opportunity. Why send an army after the wand when it can be hand-delivered?